Yes, knock him out. Uh. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Rayhana and I am going to do a series of video games on this channel. And today we're gonna be playing the council on my PlayStation. And I've never played this game before. I never heard of it before, so we're pretty much just gonna be going through it together. We're gonna be, you know, going through this game, just seeing if it rocks, if it don't. Um and yeah, we're gonna get to it, get to it and through it. You feel me? <laughs> Let's get it popping. Paris, France, December 10th, 1792. Mm. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with now, this bond, he did not have to slap You know, like I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair what of your mother's head, asking you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. No, don't touch her. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Mm -hmm. Persuasive. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. Her, her nose is... We is know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's like. parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Torture. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Ooh, what happened in Rome? Just a few more minutes and my concoction you know will say. be ready. When in Rome. Play video games on new YouTube this, channel. Your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. Oh, so he won. We'll he won. It loosens his tongues in on no him? time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto this of yours. This is killing me. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard. Von Borchard. Mm hmm. Listen. Listen. Let's make a deal. This is voice acting in this. I'll tell you where the book is. If you let my mother go free. Not what are you playing at? Don't for worry, me. mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Al Azif? Al Azif. Let me do this. Trust mm. me. Should I trust the mother? Let's go out. Let's start with a bang. Let's start with a bang. Let's see. Yes, knock him out. Uh. See, that's why you have to act. When you act and 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 do what you need to do, you don't have to worry God's about him. God's sake, Louis! I told you to let me do it. Why? Let me see. You know, I wasn't controlling the situation, Mother. He was. A oh, bit. Tell that to your nose. <gasps> it's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. Work alone? You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. just killed him. 
You're welcome. Can't you be happy for once? I finally right. can't you be finally cracked the Von Borchardt case? He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful oh. alive. <laughs> How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more important than you can ever imagine. Yeah, this voice acting is like... Right. Let's go now. But honestly, like, wouldn't y'all want to protect y'all mothers regardless? Like, for me, if my mom was like, save yourself, don't try to save me, that's never going to happen. We're both trying to get out of this situation together. All right, a month later, after you killed the man and left them. January 20th, 1793. Okay, okay. I'm actually liking this. I've never played this type of game before. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't yes. you? Yes. You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. So I wonder, because like I said, I've never played this before or even heard of it. Episode 1. If this is more like the least a murder he could do mystery, is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it's giving me it murder mystery vibes. It's time for you to stop like, all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for mm, some long lost mystical life. object mm -hmm. that you just can't live without. Reminds I'm already else hating this trip, and all I've done is Contrary think about it. what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh no, we have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? You sound like a vampire. Um, you guys are going to hear business, personal reason. Personal. Your eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons yeah, for coming here him. to myself. I promise, it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our mm -hmm. host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? He you seem to be quite questions. accustomed too to things questions. here, am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right, this is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really mm. is up to you They're whether you're you better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious. I do. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. I'm not embarrassed. I don't know you. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. Telling people We're too much of your business. Duchess, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for yeah, a better suit. Yeah, I was going to say that he's very underdressed. Ah. Uh. What's going on, buddy? Are you right? You had flashes? You ain't even going nowhere yet. Ooh, wait. Uh, 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 Mother? 
Yo, Shit. what? Your Yo! Hand. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. She Don't worry, worry Sarah. Yeah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. She's sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. She not gonna do it. No, Santa. Don't! Ooh. No. This guy makeup is... No! Trash! You can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. <sighs> oh, so is it like... He can... Uh, Louis, are you alright? He What's can going see on? the future? Here, take this. I never understood hankies and then people give a big with a snotty mouth, a snotty snot in it. I'm fine. Don't worry. Nah. Keep that, John. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. You I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. He's just a little embarrassed. Fine. I would be too if I started spazzing out. My nose started bleeding. I definitely have to find mother quickly. So are they treasure hunters? Am I going crazy or, or what? Mm, this can't be real. The, the Duchess Central arrived with camera. me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? No, I meat. absolutely need to find you, mother. Can I have a run in this? Oh yeah, I figured it out. Smart. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to what? ask you, but we didn't happen to run into nope. each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Running the streets with my mom. Uh, choose your class. Diplomat. Oculus, Oculus, and Master of Deception. Ooh, convinces the important that the knowledge is acquired, a sense of expertise in science and arts using uh, okay. Detective the detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail surrounding as well as people in question is a hands on man. He does not strive for language. Um what will be best? I feel like we are Question with psychology, logic. I feel like, am I gonna need to manipulate people more or find out clues? I think I'll be a detective. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning mm. embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I Basic waited until thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut right. him up. Right, basically. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Not at all, so I lied to her. Not at all, sorry, yeah. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. 
Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering. For Sorry. Me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, oh, it's well. the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London. No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Oh, they were smashing. No. Mm. I'm so sorry. It's like, Emily, no, I probably should have seen it. I really it. don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Your skill allows you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive for the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to access the skill required for a situation. You just need to unlock it. Uh -huh. Dialogue timer. When the limit time is over, you answer the ultimate is selected. Try the dialogue timer and the other screen. Okay. I'm heading off. Don't get left behind. I'm coming. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. You obtain talents from her and also her answers in order to review their unlike conditions and affect this for improvement. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. So, can I go up to stuff? Oh, what are you saying? Real jelly, real jelly, effort is two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Press the it. Must be an incredible view from Probably. up there. Impossible to set foot Fire on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Ooh. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet. The thing son. with that is, I must IRL. Tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. You will have a hard time talking with that mask on. Okay. Uh, well, we don't know where my mom is, so. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But, sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding mm -hmm. her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Your skills are here against the unique choices and actions of the I just gave away the lower the cost and points. Browser skills. Why is it clear that it's having a menu? Mm. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S 
Isn't that the handkerchief that she just gave him? They are the initials of Sir's mother. Something Sarah similar. De I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see it. ASAP Rocky. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go ASAP for a no midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm done with this dialogue. Thank you. Thank you very much for your cooperation. When sir would like to go to the manor, it will suffice to take the stone stairs there. Duty calls. Of course, sir may take as much time as he requires. <laughs> Why are you switching like that? <laughs> for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. Look for what are you doing mother? out here on this war. Her R to move faster. Yep, established that already. Locked. Open the gate. We got somewhere to be. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Hop the fence. So I can't do that one. Okay. I wonder. Am I gonna? Am I able to go back later? You know these little glows. There's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Take the floorboard out. Yeah, let's examine it first. Somebody replaced it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Rip it. We don't got time for all this hoopla. Hoopla! There we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? She ain't high. Main screen, main screen with light, educate yourself during an adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscript by using the inventory. You may to press the button that access your menu pages. Let's look inside the bag. A little food. English crown. Register our own again. Uh, uh, regular visitor. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, Toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black oh, somebody's powder. leaving her stuff. An iron key completely rusted. You never yeah, know. you never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. <clears throat> and if she was, that would have been sick. Uh, should we just take the whole bag? No, because we don't need the food. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I 
can recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. Her powder puff. What does all this mean? I feel like they want me to take the bag. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. Bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. I feel like I don't want to take the bag, but let's do it anyway. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when yeah, I see Yeah, I mean, her. if you see her. That's the whole point here, right? You're crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? Because you're living on the island. what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Quite some time. Ooh, wait, I wonder if I could fall in the water. I don't want to try. Some rope. Apparently, no one's touched for a good okay, long time. Okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah, somewhere finally how did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop determination and generational wealth Would y'all rather live in a house that's really nice from the outside but kind of crappy on the inside or a house that's crappy on the outside but popping in the inside? Let me know what y'all would rather do. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Dice, aren't you? Here you go, asking all you my see, government. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being persuasive with possible confrontation. I have a little bit of a story. Do not have to do that. You just go. Uh, each confrontation is really bad. I feel like I'm not going to do Okay. Well, thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Um, you gotta butter him up first. Certainly, your eminence. When you need Mother something, you need to time. butter him up and I was then hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew I love my this mother. Music. 
Ah, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest of regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I, I should like hide. them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. Because she already told but me. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Kill strangers. No. Can't tell me if you know my mother. You will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy are both pillars of the Don't organizations the for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. Thank you. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your quandary. Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Uh, yes. Depends on what the kind of are. You can count on me, buddy. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's yes. reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before mm -hmm. God that no one other than your mother will read it? See, if that, listen, we read in that letter once we get it in our hands. Wait, hold on. For the last of a conversation, you must convince the person that you are talking to the other to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the stuff will repeat itself until the right one. Or you have no blenders left. The less of a conversation will repeat itself if you fail. I swear by the Almighty mm -hmm. God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. See, to cast your Ooh. gaze upon this letter. Lisa, let's stop there. That about to start lying immediately. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it can I mean, he pretty much just told me what it is anyway, so. Okay. Hidden out many clues and items have hidden for them. In fact, my adventures so do not have a gift to look for them. Okay. <laughs> Mm, let's look around. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. That's a disturbing angle. Ha! What did that letter say? Thank you. 
Nope. Who's doing all this yapping? I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards George away. George Washington, is that Have you? Have also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your enemy. <laughs> it's simple. George Washington. Oh, that's right! President George Washington! Of the States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive Mind my Mind your business. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy It's tickets. not your business. See, this is the problem. Even though so I'm American, he's American from come. the beginning. Despite all the Nosey. goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh. here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. A high so, if I mess. understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason? Exactly? And here you go in my business again. Mind your business and we won't have no issue. Uh, she's gone missing. Yeah, let's let's. Lord Mortimer mix asked me to drop truth. everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah, oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so Are sorry. You? Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. We not sorry. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Oh, Illuminati. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United mm. States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case that man is terrifying. has our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up. Great start. Uh, oh and man. now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you it's must have read how, my like, talks. Fashion changes over the years. We'll have to be careful not to like, make too really much out noise. Here. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. He looks scary. And you, sir? 
If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Mm. Let's meet this new guy. My vision is more important. Let's yeah. follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. Deuces. <laughs> My friend, I hope I'll do. All right, boom. And on that note, we're gonna pause and do another part two video in the future. And yeah. So I'm gonna continue this series cause this is getting pretty long. So thank y'all for watching and stay tuned to see some of my other videos coming up soon. We're gonna be playing a lot of other things, a lot of other games. And let me know what games I should play um, in the comments. Like and do all that, whatever. And yes, talk to y'all later. See y'all soon. Bye.